man like you, they say. What, Camillo there? I, my good lord. Camillo! This great sir will yet stay longer. You had much ado to make his anchor hold. When you cast out, it still came home. It's noted. He would not stare your petitions. Made his business more material. How came it, Camillo, that he did stay? At the good queen's entreaty. At the queen's, be it. Good should be pertinent, but so it is, it is not. Was this taken by any understanding pate but thine? The lower masses perchance are to this business purblind say. Business, my lord. I think most understand Bohemia stays here longer. Huh? Stays here longer. Aye, but why? To satisfy your highness in the entreaties of our most gracious mistress. <laughs> That's past doubt you have. Or your eyeglass is thicker than a cuckold's horn or herd. For to a vision so apparent, rumour cannot be mute or thought. For cogitation resides not in that man that does not think. My wife is slippery. That thou wilt confess, or else be impudently negative to have nor eyes, nor ears, nor thought, then say, my wife's a hobby horse, deserves a name as rank as any flax wench that puts to before her troth plight. Say it, justify it. Good my lord, be cured of this diseased opinion and betimes, for tis most dangerous. It is the issue of Polixenes. Hence with it, and together with the dam, commit them to the fire. It is yours, and might we lay the old proverb to your charge. So like you, tis the worst. Behold, my lord, although the print be little, the whole matter and copy of the father. Now have thee burnt! I care not. It is an heretic that makes the fire, not she which burns in it. I'll not call you tyrant. But this most cruel visage of your queen, not able to produce more accusation than your own weak hinged fancy, something savours of tyranny, and will ignoble make you, yea, scandalous to the world. Out of the chamber, were I a tyrant, where were her life? Huh? She does not call me so if she did know me one. Away! But she obeyed, my lord. It is yours. Love, send her a better guiding spirit. Then, even now, I might have looked upon my queen's full eyes, have taken treasure from her lips. And left them more rich for what they yielded. Now speak his truth. No more such wives. Therefore, no wife. One worse and better used would make her sainted spirit again possess a corpse, and on this stage where we offenders mourn, appear soul-vexed, and begin. Why to me? Had she such power, she had just cause. She had, and would incense me to murder her I married. I, I should so. Were I the ghost of war, I bid you mark her eye, and tell me for what dull part in it you chose her. Then I'd shriek, that even your ear should rift to hear me, and the words that followed should be, remember my. Dead coals. Fear thou no wife. I'll have no wife, Camillo. Will you swear never to marry but by my free leave? Never. So be blessed, my spirit. And good ye gods, bear witness to his oath.